Yo, what's up with it, y'all? It's JD Travel Stenix, and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, I'm down here at Kapiolani Park out here in Honolulu, Hawaii, and I'm getting ready to get a workout in, slightly different than my normal workouts. I'm gonna be doing all isometrics today, and what that means is, is that I'm not gonna be doing any push and pull movements today. Today's all gonna be about holds. It's gonna be about getting into static holds and about building your strength through static holds and through still movements. Well, it's not movements at all, actually. So what that means is that we're gonna be doing things like pull-up holds, where we're just holding our chin above the bar, or L-sit holds, where we're hanging and just have our legs in an L-sit, or handstand holds, things like this. These are all great strength-building workouts. It's a different style of training, and it's something that I wanna start incorporating in my training, specifically for a day out of the week where I do nothing but isometric holds. Normally what I do is I mix it in with my workouts. I still will probably do that as well, but I feel like on a day where I don't want to do as much pulling and pushing and have a lighter day as a workout, isometric holds is the perfect type of workout to do when you don't want to put too much strain on your muscle, but you want to build muscle. But anyways, you guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop new content. All my content is based around travel, fitness, and overall growth. So if you're interested in those subjects, go ahead and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram. That's at Travel All right, you guys, let's get back into the workout. All right, you guys, starting off the workout, I always recommend to start off with a warm-up activity or a few different warm-up routines. And today we're gonna use a speed ladder. We got about five exercises we're gonna work on a speed ladder. So in order, prevent, in order to prevent injuries, you always have to warm up those muscles. And I prefer to warm up the muscles with agility drills, things like jumping jacks, high knees, or if you wanna skip, do different things like that, a jump rope. All those are effective warm-up activities before you actually get into your calisthenics workout because when you do a lot of resistance training and you're cold, that's when you're the most susceptible to pulling something or straining something because you haven't properly warmed up your muscles. five exercises right there five warm-up exercises those will get you right on the warm-ups so as you're warming up try to make sure you get the movements down first and then after as you proceed we do five rounds of all these exercises so as you proceed in your warm-up you want to make sure that you try to go at a faster pace once your footwork is, is together. So once you get your footwork down, Pat, go faster and faster. Challenge yourself to go faster and faster every single set. That way you're burning more calories and you're getting that heart rate up. All right, you guys, so the next portion of the workout, we're gonna do, a, the, we're gonna do two different circuits. And the first circuit is gonna be, actually both circuits are gonna be isometric holes. But on the first circuit, the first exercise is gonna be an isometric hold where we put our chin above the bar. We're gonna hold for 15 seconds. And then we're gonna put our head below the bar, hold for 15 seconds. And then we're gonna hang and do an L sit and hold for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, give me an L sit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, hang. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14, 15. Good shit. Alright, so the next exercise is gonna be kind of like an el elbow lever, elbow planche. I don't know what you even call this, it, but it's an isometric hole where you're holding your body up. You're lifting those 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 legs behind you. I'll just get into it. But this is a uh, one variation of the exercise. There you go. That's perfect. Well, maybe you start off keeping your legs tough. Yeah, there you go. Actually, there you go. That's a that's a good progression right there. But try to put your head up a little bit more. There you go. Just like that. But don't even concentrate on that. Just can't concentrate on having having your your knees tough. There you go. Just like that. There you go. Hole right there. So this is another variation you could do on this exercise. and just hold to maximum capacity. Getting into a tuck clinch. Push just holding yourself up like this. Slightly different, different works slightly different muscles but it's still working on that lower back strength this one more so works on your your chest and those shoulders it hits your chest and your shoulders a little bit more that one hits your shoulders too but a little bit essentially wider what you're trying to do is get that that lower back strength so you can lift yourself up and i'll probably say at the very beginner what i did to like even progress to doing these to just get into some Your elbows are actually holding your legs up, opposed to your lower back holding your legs up. So, to start off doing a frog hold, and then when you get more comfortable, you can get to the parallel bars or use some parallettes or something like that, so you can actually get into that tuck clinch. And then once you get more strength, and you're able to just hold yourself up, you're still giving yourself a little bit of stability with the elbows on that tuck elbow lever or that elbow lever but you keeping your legs straight back so it makes it a little bit more so it makes it harder on the back but anyways all right so the next exercise that we're going to do for isometric work is going to be a leg exercise and we're
we're just gonna get down into a deep squat and we're gonna try to hold for, let's just say, 40 seconds. You can see the timer on there, so let me know when I get to 40. Try to keep that back straight as possible and down deep as possible. Halfway. Ten more seconds. Good. Try to hit 30 seconds, that shit is hard as fuck. I'm just keeping my eye on the clock right now. Perfect. So the next exercise is gonna be handstands. And Lee's gonna be doing his handstands on the wall right here. And he's gonna walk himself up the wall and get himself into position here to hold that, that handstand. And this is just an isometric hold that you're using a wall assistance, but this is gonna help you out getting your handstands right. Where there's zero transparency. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> getting getting back into the handstands. Uh, I'm gonna do my handstands on the parallel bars, and no push today. This is just gonna be a handstand hold. We'll see how long I can hold it.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna just jump right back in there. Yep. Alright, so the last exercise is gonna be another isometric hold for your legs. Switch. There you go. For whatever reason, I can see this hip is not as flexible as the other one. This one? Yeah. This one isn't? Yeah, it's not going down as far. So just something to work on, stretch out. Are right, you good? Alright y'all, that's it for today's workout. We ran through five warm-up exercises, then five isometric exercises on that first circuit, and then we capped it off with two more isometric holds, approximately about 30 second holds on every single exercise. The first exercise was on the bar. We held onto the bar for a minute, but I would say if you do 30 seconds on every, all the other exercises, you'd be good. And uh, it's a great workout. Actually, you really don't need to worry about the numbers too much just get in the practice of getting into isometric holds and the good thing about isometric holds is that the goal is not to get to a minute or not to get to two minutes or 30 seconds or 15 seconds or anything like that but you just want to do better than you did the day before or do better than you did the week before i'm probably going to start incorporating one day of just isometric work per week so that's going to be a new routine that i'm going to start featuring on the channel is just isometric work and stabilization work that type of stuff again subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content i'll holler at you guys later peace